In the text tab, you see certain input fields, which are placeholders for text in the exercise itself. There's a title, a question, and I'll use variables here that we already created. And what you see is that underneath each field after a save, it's directly previewed what the input is. Now the dollar $A and the dollar $B are replaced with uh, the variables, in this case 3 and 4, uh, but their layout is still text. If you want them as tech, you can add hashtags around them, and you'll see that the layout changes to tech. And we also support ASCII MathML, which is a bit easier to type, and it actually works the same for addition. Right. So the difference between these two is that ASCII MathML uh, is a lot easier to write. So if I want a fraction, for example, I'll write here A divided by B. Whereas in tech, I need to do frec. Brackets open A. Curly brackets close. Which will have the same result. Right. I'll use Ctrl Z to undo. Go back to my original question. So this is what the student sees when he plays the exercise. And the solution is what he sees when he hits the answer button. This can be anything, uh, any text. Uh, you can uh, have an elaborate explanation here. In this case, I'll just limit it to the uh, formula itself. Then there are pre and post input fields for every input field. And it's just what's before and after the input field. And I'll demonstrate this exercise with a preview. So here's the title, this is the question, this is the pre-input field, and this is the post-input field, which is actually empty. And when I hit solution, I'll get the solution text. 